Okay, time to learn how to save our data. So what we're going to do is we'll go in here and we'll continue our code. So we've created some code here, a block of code for our shared object, right? Shared object to save data to computer, right? And that's all the way from there to there, right? So that's what we added last time. And if avatar exists, we're going to load the image. If not, we're going to create an array to save our data. So we'll scroll down now, and I'll show you some next stuff. All right, so when our listener, back when we did our file reference, we had this listener that was activated, right, this listener object. And our listener, when we selected a file, when we were browsing for a file, the file reference showed up right here. And it was called file ref. And we're able to put in the data field in the text box the name of the file, right? File ref dot name. We were able to access the name of the file that we selected as part of the file reference class, one of its properties, right? So now what we're going to do is instead I'm going to uncomment this and show you what we're going to do. We're going to say saved avatar dot data dot coordinates and then bracket zero end bracket and equals file ref dot name. So we take our array, right, which is like our list, and we put in it the name of the file. So in coordinate zero of our array, we now have our file name. All right, so that's important. Then down here, when we're, we've completed uploading, right here, when we've completed uploading the file, right, we had this function, when we put in the message box, file uploaded, and then we loaded the image, right, file ref dot name right that's what we did the first time well now we're gonna do it a little bit differently so I'm gonna comment this out okay get rid of that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say saved avatar data dot coordinates one which will be our X position right this will be our X position right and then this one will be our Y position And this one will be our scale. Okay. There we go. I'll put a little space here to make that nice. And I'll uncomment this. And so I'm going to add three things to our saved avatar data dot coordinates array. In the second position in our array, I'm going to pass it the number zero for the, well, we'll start on X. Um, Y, our, our third position in the array, notice how the first position in the array was 0, second position is 1, third position is 2, fourth position is 3, right? Because the first position was 0 in the array. And we did that up here, right? Coordinate 0, we gave the file name. So now we'll say coordinate 1 will be 0, x position 2, y position 0, 300, which will be our scale. Then we'll write a new load image function so I mean a call so new load image call there's load image right and then here's open parentheses and parentheses this whole thing has been wrapped and what we're gonna do is we're gonna load image and we're gonna pass it saved avatar dot data dot coordinates we're gonna pass it the first coordinate comma the second coordinate right here the third coordinate and then the fourth coordinate so we're passing in our load image function call here we're passing it four arguments or four parameters. So now that means that down here in the load image function, we only had room for passing it one thing called image name. Now what I'm going to do is a comma x position, comma y position, right, um, comma scale. So now we're passing four things into uh, when we call load image, we're going to actually be passing it four arguments inside of that. And that's all right there, right? So now we no longer need this old load image call right here because we've got our new one, which we're going to be passing it the data from our shared object, from our saved object. And that's really going to be quite nice. All right. And let's see here. I've got some other things here that I want to uncomment. Um, when we 
scale down our movie clip, right? We make our movie clip smaller. Okay, let's say we press it and we scale it down. We change the X scale. What I want to do is I want to pass that into our saved avatar data coordinates array. So I uncomment that and I say saved avatar.data.coordinates element 4, which is number 3 actually in the array. It's element 4, but it's number 3 equals avatar.container.avatarouterhead.underscore.xscale. Now once again, this is wrapping, right? These are, this is wrapping onto two lines here, right? And I'm going to uncomment the other one. This will pass um, scale up, same thing. I want to pass that in there. If we click the scale up button, on if we move the x, I'm going to save that to coordinate 1. If we move the x position, I want to save that to coordinate 1 right here. And if we move the Y position, I want to save that to coordinate 2. Okay. And I'm not sure if I'm missing anything in the code, but we can test it out and see if it works. So we get Control Enter, and we get our new movie clip, and then we go back to our browser, refresh it, and see what happens. Okay, notice nothing was saved when I refreshed, so it goes back to normal. Hopefully now it'll be saved data. So I refreshed, started off at the beginning, browse, get our file, upload our file to our server, file uploaded, right? Coordinates are right here, right, for the name, but we didn't get an output on the other stuff, so that's kind of strange. But anyway, we'll, we'll position this over, scale it down, right, move it up. We've got a face in there now, and we're all good. Now, if I hit refresh, that image, that data should be saved. So I hit refresh, and the data was saved. The image is loaded. Notice the image loaded in automatically. When I saved, it didn't go back to a yellow circle, but my coordinates were not saved. So the coordinates were not saved, but um, the image was. So now we just have to go back into Flash and see what happened with that how come that information wasn't saved. And I'll probably have to do that in the next movie. Let's see here.